Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 12th, 2022. Well, on Friday, I, I warned about the possibility to watch for a potential pop and drop, and although we popped up in the morning, had initial pullback, those bulls remained strong throughout the day, pushing up, even though there really wasn't much for inspiration out there so the good news is is the relief rally is still underway that's what we want to see happen so how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the monday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can pick up some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, what I want to point out is that we've had a really nice rally to the upside, and we're pressing right up here into that downtrend resistance. As a matter of fact, this morning, we're trying to gap ever so slightly through that level here this morning. I also want to point out, however, though, we have some very significant price resistance level um, above here in the Dow chart. So we'll want to watch that closely as we push up here. We're really coming into kind of that double whammy resistance um, level here in the chart. So watch that closely um, this morning as you know we try to push on through. And this is something that we've been wanting to see, that relief rally in the market. The problem is we may be reaching a bit of an overbought condition here in such a quick hurry to the upside. So I don't want to say that the all clear has been sounded in any way, shape or form. So I would be a little bit careful racing in to do a lot of buying here. It might be a good time to be thinking about taking some profits or maybe backing off just a little bit to see how we deal with this overhead resistance. Now, technically in the chart, we did a pretty good job here uh, on Friday testing that 50 day moving average. And as you can see, we're trying to gap just slightly above it this morning. And you'll notice right in here that our 34 EMA still falling here, providing a fairly significant level of technical and price resistance in the chart right here. And this is right where I wanna start watching for that potential that the bears could be coming back into play, that they might get a little bit more active here and um, maybe the place that I will be looking for some potential short trades. But I say potential because I'm not sure of that yet until I see it in price action. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Also rallying back into um, and some resistance areas in the chart. If I pull this line down here, you'll see we're pushing right up into that resistance level in the chart. And if we can push up through that, well, we've still got another significant resistance level. As you can see, if I pull these back, these are fairly important levels here in the chart. And as we press up, that's going to run into some of those issues here. And again, we're trying to just squeak above that downtrend um, break right there. So we're kind of extending the relief rally here, maybe just a little bit too far, too fast. We'll want to watch that close. So right now, watch that carefully as we push those resistance levels in the charts. Then if we take a look at our QQQ, well, I got to say QQQ very much the same, uh, pushing back up here into these resistance levels, as you can see, right up into here. Now we have a little bit of price resistance right there on the underneath side of this little consolidation, but I think we're probably going to uh, bang closer into that resistance area, and I'll show you that that's a fairly significant level as well in the chart. So watch that close and if we were to um, um, mark out our downtrend here once again, we're just trying to sneak out above that here this morning in the pre-market. And we've got some issues this week that we're going to have to deal with or some economic data we're going to have to deal with. So be careful just thinking once again that that all clear has been sounded and chasing into this extension to the upside. Today is one of those days of the gap up open really could produce um, a pop and drop on the day. So watch that carefully. If we look at our IWM, the Russell, 
is also now this has been one of the an, an interesting chart because it's been stronger than others here and as you can see we've been pushing up into this price resistance level of the chart but the good news is is we've broken above that downtrend uh, break here again so we're pushing back up here into this level but i will point out this is a pretty significant level in that price action of the chart and then once again we're stretching up here um, just trying to tweak beyond that um, um, trend break right here so we're kind of getting a little bit long in the tooth on this rally we'll want to watch that close our um, technicals here on this chart also much improved over the other indexes where we're pushing above that 50-day uh, moving average but I'm not sure that this is a bullish chart in any way, shape, or form. And if we look at the weeklies on these, these are nowhere near bullish charts, as you can see. We've got lots of failure patterns, continued downtrends. So you'll want to keep that in mind. Now, I'm not suggesting you should use the weekly chart for any kind of a swing trade. I'm just saying we're just little bit questionable here yet in the market so be kind of careful now if we take a look at our VIX our VIX pulled back nicely on Friday and that was good to see um, we kind of stretched down right at the end of the day here just a bit but as you can see we've broken that support here now um, which is a good sign those bulls we got to give this up to the bulls they um, they are seemingly without fear um, in the market, which is really kind of surprising considering um, the FOMC stance here on the market and the fact that they're going to continue to raise rates. They've been pretty clear about that as well. Um, really not wishy-washy at all as to what their intentions are um, here in the next week. So watch that close. And here again, uh, pushing down below. So we broke that little upside trend. I'm going to give this up to the bulls all the way. They, they feel like there is no fear here in the market. Um, I would be a little bit cautious of thinking that might be the case with the data that we've got coming this week. Now, let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And what we wanna notice here is that we've stretched a long ways here from that oversold condition. We were talking about that for a long time where we were stuck in this area down here and we were looking for that relief. So I got what I wanted here, which is a rare thing that I actually get what I want in the market. And we're rallying back up. Now, as we were approach this resistance level up here, here, as a matter of fact, with the gap up this morning, we're going to be very, very close into that bearish resistance area of the chart or overbought condition area of the chart. We'll want to be watching those resistance levels to see if there's going to be any bear activity. I doubt the bears are going to give up really easily. We, we kind of hope that the relief can hold just a little bit, but at the same time, we have to be cognizant of that area up here. And just the fact that the Federal Reserve is going to continue to raise rates, we continue to see weakening economic conditions in China and Europe. We, we really need to be thinking pretty carefully and cautiously as we approach these levels. If we take a look at our T2108, our T2108 had a nice little bump back up, nice little rally back. Unfortunately, we didn't fix anything just yet. We're um, pushing back up to maybe try and attack um, that downtrend resistance in the chart. And we want to look across here and just see lots and lots of congestion in that chart as well. So 46% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. That's a nice improvement over what we saw just a few days ago. But unfortunately, it may not be quite enough to show us that enthusiasm that we're ready to just keep ripping to a new highs. And if we take a look at T2107, T2107 did show a nice improvement in here. And if you notice right in here, we just kind of squeaked right above that downtrend break. So we're right here at this price resistance level in the chart. We'll want to watch that carefully to see whether or not we're actually going to push on through that area or not and hold that downtrend area as a break or if we run into that potential of the failure here. Our T2101. 
T20 101 kicked back higher just a little tiny bit on Friday, which is interesting because this is supposed to show us that momentum in the market. And we can see that as we are moving up strongly, that momentum from the bullish side that we were pushing right here, here faded substantially. Um, so we'll want to watch that carefully just in case we run into some resistance here this morning and maybe catch that little pop and drop. I'm not saying that we just fall all the way. I'm not saying that um, we can't even push even higher, but we should be respectful of those price resistance levels in the charts. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar is pretty light today but boy do we pick up uh, later this week first off as you can see here today we have really no major notables except we have six month three month um, auctions going on bills and notes um, and then a 10-year note auction here today so it's all about the bonds and unfortunately our bond rates have not been improving all of that much the bond yields continue to show us major recession um, is underway and those inversions are really ugly so we'll want to watch those um, today um, we could get a little bit of market bouncing around um, on those on those numbers today now keep in mind that as we get ready here and the whole world's going to be watching this we've got a cpi number tomorrow so we're going to get a reading on that inflation tomorrow watch that closely um, that'll be the big daddy of the of the day and then of course we're going to follow that up the next day with a PPI report, another inflationary reading. So um, we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. And I wish that was the end of it, um, but it's really not. We're going to hit jobless claims, Philly Fed, retail sales, empire state manufacturing, import export, industrial production, business inventories, all on Thursday. It's gonna be a busy midweek here for the market. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take Take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar has been dwindling down because of the loss of, um, well, as we wind down earnings season. And although there's about 14 companies um, confirmed to report this morning, there really isn't anything in the way of notables. They're very, very small cap, very low volume stocks that are reporting today. So the only notable that I could really come up with here for today is Oracle and Oracle will be reporting after the bell. So keep an eye on this. We're trying to gap Oracle up this morning ahead of its earnings report. You'll want to notice that we're trying to break out from underneath that downtrend, but we're pushing right into some price resistance as well. So this will be an important earnings report, whether or not that can um, actually hold above that downtrend or if we fail at this area. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful, to be helpful, if you could please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow and I just want to say thanks for everyone who takes the time to do that. And I do work really hard to try and answer all of those comments. So if you have something that you'd like to ask or questions or things like that, if I could help, sure would be um, glad to do that if I can. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact um, we're going to have to do our you're going to have to do your own due diligence be thinking very very carefully about these stocks uh, because there could be significant price um, volatility um, this week with these data points coming our way. So you'll want to kind of keep that in mind. I'm going to keep with my theme here and talking about the dollar. Um, UUP showing a pullback here this morning. Now that's going to be helpful in uh, keeping um, um, the market maybe moving a little bit higher here because we've had this uh, dollar being so strong here um, that it's been creating lots of 
currency fluctuations around the world. Um, let's watch that closely here as we finally are starting to pull back with recognition that Europe is going to be uh, pushing a little bit harder on its inflationary rate and other countries are kind of picking things up so it might be pushing that dollar down a little bit. Now when the dollar pushes down we're going to have to watch um, energies because energies are likely going to go up or anything in commodities are likely going to move higher if that dollar tends to fall. So for those of you folks that that like oil and gas stocks um, keep an eye on this because we're holding some support levels in here. We may be trying to break that downtrend and with that weakening dollar you can see in the pre-market we can have some of these oil and gas stocks moving to the upside so watch that closely again I'm gonna I'm gonna point out like stocks like UNG um, Boyle these might be pushing up as well as natural gas and Brent crude prices uh, move on higher um, Exxon Mobil um, and maybe stocks like Devon Energy um, would be something to to pay attention to APA pushing up nicely here this morning so watch some of those as we weaken now also as we um, weaken in that US dollar we're gonna have to watch other commodities like um, GLD GLD gold bought popping up this morning looks like we're gonna gap a little higher now this is not in any way shape and form uh, shape or form a great looking chart but what we do want to note here is that we may have double bottomed and we may be breaking that little downtrend to the upside so if we can hold up here then there may be an opportunity to if the dollar continues to weaken to see precious metals starting to move higher take a look at gold take a look at silver um, silver spiking pretty hard here this morning um, as that dollar pulls back so we'll want to watch these areas in here don't chase but wait for that next higher low to maybe come in there that might give us um, better opportunity for a low risk entry trade take a look at stocks um, or things like uh, DBC DBC might be interesting today with the weakening dollar we'll normally see commodity prices surge to the upside so keep a close eye on stocks like that other places that you might want to look we've seen some really good um, moves in some of these alternative energies hydrogen being one of those plug power has made recent deals with a couple of the big retailers out there and you can see plug pushing back up we've got a little w formation in here and i can't tell you if that's going to serve as as a double uh, bottom or end up being more of a double top here as we press into this price resistance area but i think it is worth keeping an eye on in this chart as we kind of range around here on plug power watch for that possibility that that might actually pop on through to that upside and if it does and holds then there may be some more upside opportunity in uh, plug power now also you might want to keep an eye um, as i've been talking about pretty pretty strongly um, um, these uranium plays you are a showing lots of strength here pushing through some resistance i think we should keep an eye on some of these uranium plays as we're running into major energy problems around the world and there's a whole new um, interest maybe in um, um, nuclear power so keep an eye on ura U U U U, and then of course the stock that i'm personally holding ccj and so i have a bias on this um, if you take a look at my current position i'm right here in a 22 strike long um, i've got a 31 strike short and i'm very very close to to having that opportunity i could get called away on the trade and that would be awesome if i did get called away because i think we're overextended and probably need a rest or pullback in the chart so i'm pretty comfortable in this position right now and i i will note that i uh, um, i'm trading this based on this long-term chart and we had this little inverted head and shoulders pattern that showed up in here um, so watching that close if this can pop on through and hold then i'm golden but we'll see 
um, watch that resistance level in the chart. And then let's take a look at some other things out there that we should be keeping an eye on as we rally back in some of these big techs. Take a look at stock like Microsoft. As we push up into this downtrend and push up into these resistance levels, we might want to be watching these for that potential of that lower high failure in here. So keep a close eye on that. Um, there may be some opportunities in here, and if not directional shorts, maybe something in the bear call credit spread type um, area might be appropriate to take advantage of a little bit of softness or a little bit of weakness in these charts. You know, I can also draw another trend right here. So we've kind of got this you know, accumulation of resistance here in that chart to be watching for. And I think there's a lot of the techs um, that are running into um, those issues. And with bond yields being so high still, there's a lot, there's a lot of uncertainty here on some of these guys. So watch them carefully and they may um, be setting up for some additional short trades. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a very, very great good day in your trading. Thanks so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I'll see you right back here, bright and early Tuesday morning. I wish you guys all the best. Take care now.